What's up you guys, it's your girl Kai, that's why I see back with another video. If you haven't seen the last video, definitely check it out. It'll be up here. And also, I'll link it in the description box below. Definitely check that out. Okay, so today, you guys, I just did the other video. So the video I put right here is the video I filmed right before this one. But, getting straight to the point. So, what this video is going to be about is basically couples and Avatar Last Airbender that just makes sense. Now, these are going to be the couples are, are, that we already know are going to be together. These are going to be characters that a lot of fans really love and personally the ones that i feel like would have made a very like good couple okay so one that i personally really like was jen and zuko so zuko actually met jen when he went to boston say with his uncle iroh and basically what happened was they ended up going on a date and zuko really enjoyed that date low-key and so he really enjoyed himself but realistically he knew that the relationship was not going to work but I really like the side of Zuko that she brought out of him. I felt like that was so cute how she was able to like, I don't know, Zuko actually made an effort to try to like show her a good time. It really just, like, you know, it was very special. And it was good to kind of see that side of Zuko because like the side that we saw Zuko was always like, you know, you could never really see him in that way. But the fact that he actually made an effort to like make things special for her, I feel like if they had gotten more time, I feel like she would have really gotten to a... Uh, know Zuko on like a deeper level and so I kind of like the chemistry between these two it was kind of sad to see it didn't work out now of course when Zuko later on Zuko does meet her again but at this time he's already with Mei this is not in the show but this is like you know after the whole thing so yeah they did meet again but he was already with Mei you know <laughs> exclusively so yeah that was kind of sad to see but they would have really made like a pretty good match i would like to kind of see that you know what i'm saying that would have been kind of cool to see and we all know that they're both kind of hurt from the fire nation because if you remember she had like a i think she had like a scar on her leg and then he had you know the whole burns they kind of could they kind of could like you know connect on that level as well so it's kind of cool to see that part another couple that i really really would have liked to see together was actually was actually taco Toph and Sokka. Okay, now hear me out here. Ali is the one that a lot of people actually feel the same way about. As much as I love Suki, I really feel like Toph and Sokka could have had something going on. Because I feel like in a way, uh, I feel like it just could, kind of would kind of be, like we already know that Toph had a thing for Sokka. When the whole thing, when she thought that, you know, he had saved her, she gave him a kiss on the cheek, but it actually turned out to be Suki. We just kind of got hints every now and then that she actually did like him. And so, like, kind of seeing, like, the connection between those two and how, I mean, like, even when she went to that whole thing, when she, when she went through the whole thing with Katara, and they kind of had got into it, and so he kind of was able to go to her and talk to her and things like that. I just look at, I feel like it would have been kind of cool to see that, and I feel like a lot of people kind of, I feel like a lot of people I would agree uh, would agree with me on that. That kind of would have been in, like an interesting match, and I feel like yeah, I feel, definitely feel like uh, Toph had a soft side for him, and I, and you know like Sokka would always compliment uh, Toph too as far as like you know like just saying little things here and there, you know that oh we're so happy we, you know let you join the team or the group or like it's really dope that you actually came up with metal bending. That's not uh, like flirty or anything like that, but like. You can see that they actually could get along and things like that. So was, I feel like they would have been probably a really good couple. And then also in the last episode when they're um, basically on the ship. And they're both basically about to die. But it's kind of cool seeing how he was like protecting her and taking care of her. Make sure she was good. Things like that. It was kind of good to see them like, you know, they actually could work together. It's kind of, kind of. No, it's kind of cute but like honestly i feel like they would have been like a couple out of like to see and so yeah honestly that would have been a kind of like a good one to see uh, as much as i like, like him and suki i really feel like him and top would have probably been a bomb couple as well and so yeah and a lot of people suspected that he could possibly be the father at least one of her daughters which i'm not saying it could not have happened you know what i'm saying i'm not <laughs> You never really know, and that, I don't. Nobody really knows if what happened with Sokka and Suki even lasted. So it'd have been kind of cool to see if they actually did make things a little sparky, sparky at some point. You know what I'm saying. So I mean, to see if that would have happened, that would have been kind of cute. And you never know. You know what I'm saying? Like both of them kind of like a mystery. Like you don't know who they ended up with at any point like you don't know if Sokka ended up being with Suki I don't think they end up being with, being together I don't think they stay together I don't know and maybe in the back of my mind like well does he not feel he could ever be with another girl after 
the moon spirit <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i don't know because he seemed like he was still caught up with her even when he was with suki which is understandable because their love is kind of just like you know chopped off like right from the beginning before they could really even start anything but if they were to if they would have had the time and if they would have been able to stay together i feel like he would have stayed with her for sure definitely yeah they would have stayed together that was a cute couple out of like to see but you know of course she had to do her moonly duties and take that over so that's understandable so going on to the next one okay so this is another one that a lot of people would agree with me on and this is zutaro zutaro okay so this right here this is probably like my top one though this is probably the top one that i have and the reason why i said that is because they're so similar and definitely they'll just be like they would be that couple you know what i'm saying like they would be like that power couple because katara when, especially when he went with her to like face the dude that killed her mom the fact that like how powerful she was like she's a g actually katara is pretty she's pretty dope she's pretty she's pretty good like she's a pretty powerful waterbender and so like even zuko and it's kind of like that i don't know i feel like they've just been like a power couple and then seeing them battle with battle with azula I feel like that kind of would have been a good couple to see. And then also seeing how they're able to make connections on multiple occasions in some type of way. Like, you know, when they're stuck in the in that prison thing, Majig, in the rocks. And then he kind of just, like, opened her up, opened up to her a little bit. And then she opened up about her mom. And, you know, they both had, like, the mom thing where the Fire Nation basically ruined their lives. When it came, like, they both kind of, like, severed, you know, the, you know, Katara's mom was killed. His mom was kind of just, like, we all know what happened to his mom. But you know what I'm saying? Like, they're, the fire nation was basically responsible for both of their mothers. So, the fact that they're able to connect on that level. And then also the fact that I feel like Katara could see something in him that a lot of people didn't. And even when she was mad at him, I think she even still kind of knew. Like, she's kind of, like, she was disappointed because she's, like, I saw in you, like, the good in you. But you just kind of, like, betrayed us. It's kind of, like, dang. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they both understood stood each other on like a deep level like because even like like he under like they just understood each other on a deep level and i feel like the chemistry between these two were incredible now as much as i love katang which is katar and ang they're a cute couple now let me just say that that's like a pretty cut and dry couple you know that he ang has to get the girl i mean he's done all that he's had to do he's the avatar he was working his butt off as a kid trying to save the world she was right there with him you know she was always taking care of me sure he was good and like so you already knew that they're gonna end up being together but it's just kind of like yes that's cute i'm happy he got the girl but realistically i think we all know that zuko and katara would have probably been the better couple now i love michael which is basically may and zuko i love them but we have to just talk about the connection that katara and zuko have like the connection that they have i feel like that they would have really had like a, a bomb relationship like their relationship would have been pretty that would have been one to see, I personally think myself. So, what do y'all think? Do y'all I really? That's one of the best ones, honestly. One of the best couples that I can personally agree with completely. Like, if they made them like a couple in that show, I would have really been mad at it. Of course, I would have felt bad for my man Aang and for May. But at the same time, it's just like it just makes sense. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense. And so, like, kind of like for Katara and Aang, it was kind of like strange. Because he's younger than her, he's kind of like, you know, more like a kid. She's more like mature, more motherly like. So it's kind of like a mother child type thing. Not even get weird, but it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like, I'm going to have to see how that turn out when they get older. Maybe it'll make more sense, but when they're younger, it's just kind of like, she's just so motherly though. He's just kind of like an innocent kid and she just kind of takes care of him. But you can see Aim become more mature, you know, he can be really mature too. So they're a really good couple as well. So either one of them, I'm fine with either one, but we can't lie. Low key, Katar and Zuko. Low key. Now I'm going to go into some weird, some really weird ships that some of y'all have actually like some people actually really have like started and really like so i'm gonna go into one of the weirdest ones i've seen so far one of the weirdest ones i've seen is tang T tang t tang <laughs> whatever anyway it's basically ang and toff and i feel like that's kind of like a weird one because why i mean i understand they're kind of like the same age and like they're both pretty young and they're you know but it's just kind of like how you know she just I can never see it. I can never understand that. Huh. I feel like Aang was able to kind of like, he kind of accesses like a more sensitive side of her. 
at times not really no actually she kind of she kind of tough on aim though honestly she's tough on everyone I, I just couldn't see aim aim is more of like a nurturing you know type of relationship she's more so just like bro you need to toughen up like what's wrong with you, you know what i'm saying like nah you know <laughs> that's tough love from top and i don't think that Aang will be able to handle that but apparently a lot of people actually were shipping them and i'm just kind of like really I don't see it, but I mean, if any of y'all see it, let me know, like, honestly. I guess people like the fact that, but, okay, so I just read up on it, and apparently people just like the fact that they're just, like, polar opposites, and they feel like that would kind of, like, be kind of cute to see them come together, even though they're pretty much opposites. I feel like, yeah, but as a couple, though, that would just been weird. I just couldn't see it. I can't see it. So I feel like that's a really weird one. Okay, so another one that I like, it, that, no, another one that I think is weird is Taco. Toko, Toph and Zuko, and that's a really weird one for me because who and why? Come on, look. Zuko and Toph, probably like the two like tough people. I don't even feel like Zuko is probably softer than her, honestly. Uh, but I could, I can't see it. Um, and I think people make the similarity of Zuko, Zuko being the blue spirit and Toph being the blind bandit. Cause they both have alter egos but both of them were also Aang's toughest teachers which is true um they both ran, ran away kind of not really well Zuko was kind of banished and then she just ran away so I guess they both had issues with their family and then she, they also said that she had also gave advice to Zuko to find a new way to learn earth firebending um but everyone was mocking him basically giving him good advice um the issues between them were pretty much solved, like, kind of resolved quickly, okay? Okay, so it says, It should also be noted that Toph stopped blushing about Sokka around the same time Zuko showed up and hit his arm constantly. And hit his arm constantly the way that she is the way that she so, shows affection. Um. And then also the conversation she had with Zuko about Iroh, what her conversation with him was about... Basically, like, she gave him some good advice. She talked to him, you know what I'm saying? And also the time when she was on the... She wanted to have her little trip with him because everybody else had gotten their trip. And then she clung to his arm and, I guess, made him blush. But I'm just like, even still, like, I just... Could never be. Could never be. Could never work out. Okay, I could never see that. I don't know because they both are, like... Of course, that stuff is valid, but I feel like that would just make them stronger friends. Like, they probably wouldn't end up being, like, besties, probably. But as far as a couple, absolutely not. Because I feel like Zuko, they'll probably end up killing each other, to be honest. They'll probably just, like, I don't know. They'll probably... Maybe they'll probably bring out their best in each other. I don't know. But, like, as far as, like, a couple, I could never see it. Just because... Nah. Could never be. Even though kind of May and Toph are kind of the same, except Toph is more outspoken while May is more so quiet. And like she's more of an introvert while Toph is an extrovert. But as far as like how they both kind of are, they both like blah. Like I don't really care. Not really blah. May's blah. Toph is more so just like I don't, you know, I'm not gonna take just you know, like she's a more of like a tough one, you know. But I don't think that they're similar in that way. But I don't think that Zuko really. I just don't feel like that would really go well wait 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 i forgot about this one that actually kind of like Sokka and ty lee Sokka and ty lee they're both very 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 goofy they're both very 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 they're just both so corny you know what i'm saying like they're both kind of like i want to say ditzy like she's ditzy him he's kind of just like he's just goofy like you know what i'm saying like they'll be like that funny couple that just like they're always like they seem like they'll just like stay together because like i don't know they feel like they, i seem like they'll really vibe you know what i'm saying like i feel like they just be like that positive couple that's just always having a good time and always doing something goofy like that one goofy couple that everybody likes i feel like that would have been them Kasuki, she's not really like goofy goofy but like ty lee and Sokka, i actually kind of like them together and so like now that ty lee is kind of like on a good side like she's on a good side now it's kind of cute i find them that they'll be cute and you all know we all know that ty lee already had like a little crush on Sokka anyway like she thought he was cute and so i honestly think this would have made a pretty good couple who else agrees like honestly like they're like so goofy and stuff like that and it's just kind of like they would have been a cute couple i they actually they're like my sacred favorite no wait 
they're definitely in the top five of my ships. I think that they're one of the best ones, honestly. That I wonder why they didn't make that a thing. That would have been a good thing. Anyway, like they're called Tai Laka. So Sokka and Tai Lee. I really like that one. I really do. <clears throat> the next one is Tai Zula, which is Tai Lee and Azula. And so this one, I guess people were just saying that like I guess because they show like a softer side of like their friendship. And the fact that Ty Lee is always complimenting Azula. And they felt like Azula had a soft spot for Ty Lee. And she apologized even when, because like, I guess they said that because of the fact that when Azula, when they're at that beach house singy and they're at the party and then like Azula had insulted her but then apologized. And so we know like Azula doesn't apologize genuinely. She was genuinely like apologizing. So I was just like, oh, that's interesting. Azula apologizes and she actually has feelings. Interesting. So I guess that, that's a valid point. And Tylee's betrayal had set Azula on edge. And even despite that, people still felt like they wanted to ship them. That's kind of a weird one to me. Um, no. I feel like Azula needs somebody that's psychotic, like low key, just like her, but it's able to kind of keep her under control, but also kind of like low key crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You remember, oh, Legend of Korra. Uh, which was the one of Toph's grandchildren, the one that was with that crazy girl that was like a villain and like he was kind of like, like her little like man, like this was get married or whatever, but like she was basically running him. And so basically that's how I feel like, that's the type of man I feel like Azula would need. And just like a type of personality in general, Tylee, like she's more so like the same way, but at the same time, I feel like Azula would get tired of her sometimes. I just couldn't see that kind of connection could it? Could the connection work? Huh. I guess it could work. I don't know. That would be interesting. But I did. But the, the point that they didn't make in this was actually really good. Okay. I agree. Like, this seemed like she kind of had. But she had a soft spot for all of her friends, though. That's the thing. Like, she seemed like she, she was set on edge even when May had betrayed her. So, I think that just kind of, like, the two of them together, like, her two closest friends that she'd been with for so long, had just kind of just, like, you know, betrayed her. And so, like, even, like, with her other friends, you know what I'm saying? Like, she had, like, that soft spot for them. Like, and I feel like that's why it set her on edge in the last battle. Because of the fact that those are people that she felt like was going to be by her side at that time, and they weren't there. And so I just feel like that might be why. But I don't really... As far as, like, Tylee alone, I don't really know. But... That's one ship that I find interesting, I guess. I don't really know how I feel about that one. Okay, so next one. Okay, so the next one, this is this is the kicker for me. This one makes no sense. Okay, Z Zuko, Z Zuka, Zuka, Zuko and Sokka. But, okay. So I guess they go to the Boiling Rock as one of the reasons. Um, they enjoy how the the basically the fans enjoy how the two characters uh play off uh play off each other i guess like they kind of like work really well together and so and then they go back to the part where they're on the um when the two were flying together to the to the boiling rock and they're having like talking about their relationships and all that and, like past experience with their girlfriends stuff like that but i'm just like that's not kind of like that's like bros right there you know what i'm saying like that's not really like a relationship if that was a, that would be weird because Sokka like girls too much zuko like girls i was like that's kind of like a weird reason you have any other valid reasons otherwise no they're just bros honestly i don't think it could go any more than that they bros they bros yeah, that one right there was the weirdest one for me. I'm like, what are y'all getting this one from? Y'all reaching with that one. Y'all reach they're reaching with the last two. I feel like they were kind of reaching with the last two, personally. Reaching. A little bit too much. Actually, no. The last one was okay, but this one right here, this is the weirdest one for me. No, actually, it was Toph and Aang. The two worst ones are Toph and Aang and Sokka and Zuko. But out of the two, Sokka and Zuko are definitely the worst ones. Like, what are you talking about? Absolutely not. That makes no sense. They're both two different people. Like, way out there. No. No. I think Zuko will probably kill Sokka, honestly. <laughs> he get tired of Sokka. Like, nah. They'll be like, where's Sokka at? It's not here. Sokka gone. <laughs> but yeah, which one do you guys think? Which one's your favorite? Which one's your least favorite? Rank them for me. Which one do you think is best? Which one do you think is worst? Honestly. My favorite, you guys already know, is Zutaro, Zuko and Katara. That's my favorite one. And... 
yeah, that's my favorite one, honestly. Second one is Taka, Toff and Toff, Toff and Saka. And then, yeah, those are my top two ships that aren't already together so far. So those are my two top ones. And yeah, which one's your top two? Which one's your bottom two? Like, which one do you think? Would act do you disagree with me any of them? Do you honestly just let me know in the comment section which ones do you disagree with? Like, honestly. And yes, you guys, that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed doing this video because I've been wanting to do this one for a minute. Because I was just like, this needs to be talked about. This is a good one to talk about. If you guys want me to do for, do one for Legend of Korra, let me know. I'll be looking into that a little bit more. And yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video, guys. Peace.